Eyewitness News. Uh, firmer and stricter. I don't think that the governor or the president really wanted to do that, but uh, we are where we are. First up right now at 11, we are days away from the deadline for state employees to get vaccinated or follow a plan to get tested each and every week. But are we setting ourselves up right now for a staffing crisis? Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us right now at 11 o'clock. I'm Mark Zinni. And hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. Today, Governor Lamont announced the National Guard is on standby to fill in for workers who ignore the mandate. Right now, about 25% of state employees are not compliant. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live at the Capitol with all the details tonight. Sharon. Well, the National Guard says that they haven't been asked to fill in for any specific function yet, but they do say that they're going to be stepping up to fill in for wherever staffing shortages arise. I work for the state. I work at CCSU. We have one for students and faculty with mask wearing, and it makes me feel relatively secure uh, that when I go to teach that I'm going to be safe. State employee James Austin is fully vaccinated. The mandate deadline at his job at Central Connecticut State University was August 26. October 4th is the deadline for all state employees to provide proof of vaccination or compliance with weekly COVID tests. So far, 24,000 have done so. I think it's a fantastic thing if state is mandating that, that everybody should get vaccine, especially in the state. I mean, I think that's what, that's what they can control private things they cannot control much. But as of Thursday, Governor Lamont says just over 8,000 workers are still in non-compliant status. Those who are non-compliant will be placed on unpaid leave and the National Guard is prepared to step in. The National Guard did lots of things. They gave me my uh, my COVID shots earlier this spring. This past year, the Guard distributed food, delivered PPE, and inspected nursing facilities. This time, the Guard says in a statement that, quote, we in concert with other agencies and the governor's office are closely monitoring critical sectors and key positions that may be affected by a labor shortage and we are looking at options for filling in critical capability gaps. Austin says he's hoping it doesn't get to that point. If that's what it takes, sure, but I hope that everybody would just get their shot, um, look at all the vaccinations they've already had in their lives. And employees who don't comply will be put on unpaid leave as soon as next Tuesday, but no later than October 11th. Live in Hartford tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Sharon, thank you very much.